Puerto Rican political class is very happy to have the board because they have somebody to blame for anything that they, you know, they can't do or don't want to do. Mm -hmm. What's, you know, this is, this is like an impossible puzzle of, you know, institutional imperatives mm -hmm. that, you know, people just, you know, are never going to want to change and never going to want to solve the problem of Puerto Rico's access to capital markets. I, I, I agree. I mean, I think essentially Puerto Rico had this devastating hurricane five years ago. And as a consequence, the federal government is giving them $80 billion to reconstruct. And then COVID came and Puerto Rico and all the states, of course, got this big um, slug of money, cash. So they don't need market access. I mean, really, like when you look at it in terms of need for, you know, CapEx, they don't have a need, which means they won't be able to demonstrate they have market access.